guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and today I'm going to do the 23 questions. It wasn't a tag, but it was started by Crystal at Bag of Day, but over on her second channel, it's like a family vlog channel uh, called The Bod Squad. <laughs> I'll link both her channels below, as if you don't know who she is. <laughs> but uh, she and her husband started it, and then it just kind of spread around the community a little bit, and now people's tagging people. So I thought I'd go ahead and do it just for fun. <laughs> That was a really big introduction, but yeah. Anyways, I got them written down here on my handy dandy notepad. And I'm waiting for my camera to focus. For some reason, it keeps losing focus. But, uh, I'm just gonna go through them and answer them. Okay, so, um, she did it with her husband to see, like, who knows each other better or whatever. But, uh, other people are just doing it for the heck of it. And so I'm just gonna do it for the heck of it. <laughs> so, number one is my favorite color. That's kind of hard for me to, to decide because I love a lot of colors. But um, my favorite type of colors are bright colors. Um, I do wear a lot of dark colors, but it's just because before recently I was super self-conscious about my body. So I, I tried to hide it a lot. But I'm pretty sure now since I'm losing weight, I'm going to be wearing a lot of different colors this coming uh, summer when we're allowed to leave the house. And uh, I love to decorate with bright colors. And I love like purses and hoodies and stuff that are really bright and fun colors like tie-dye. But I guess if I had to pick a favorite color, it would be like really bright pink, hot pink maybe. And um, my favorite color combination is blue and green. Um, like lighter, brighter colors. Kind of like um, Red Heart, Super Saver, Takura, and uh, Spring Green together. Like bright, bright blue and green, not dark blues and greens. <laughs> but yeah, anything that reminds me of like spring outside. Bright, you know, pinks and purples and reds and oranges and yellows of flowers and then the bright greens of the trees and grass and water for blue and all that just stuff like that <laughs> all right number two is my favorite genre of music that again is really hard for me too because i love so much music it's it's funny i don't have a favorite type that i always listen to i love to i love every kind of rock i listen to rock music from like the 50s up i love pop music i love some country music, but not mostly older stuff, like the 90s and back. I don't really like any of the new stuff. Um, unless it's Blake Shelton. <laughs> I do like him. But um, I love oldies, like, uh, you know, like the poppy kind of music from the 50s. Um, and I love uh, classical music. I listen to classical music and orchestra music. I love listening to soundtracks from movies and video games. One of my favorite one is The Oblivion which is an Elder Scrolls game, and Skyrim, which is also an Elder Scrolls game. I love their um, soundtracks. I have them on my phone, and I listen to them all the time. <laughs> and I love, um, I like some metal and stuff, mostly because Devin listens to it, so I've learned about it from him. Uh, I like dance music. I like, uh, I like, all, I just like everything. I will listen to everything. <laughs> I'll pretty much listen to anything. I love jazz music. I love um, blues music. I like bluegrass music. I like everything. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll pretty much listen to anything. <laughs> and I'm definitely one of those people who listens to different music um, according to my mood. So, um, and I like meditation music. If I'm feeling really overwhelmed or something and I just want to chill and crochet, I will turn on some meditative music or the soundtracks to those video games I was talking about because they're really relaxing. And, um, I'll just listen to it while crocheting or playing a video game or something and just relax. Number three is favorite food. Hmm. <laughs> That's hard to. Like, does that mean an actual dish or a type? Because if it's a type of food, pretty much everything. Like, I love Chinese food. Well, I don't, uh, it's not actually Chinese food. I love the Americanized Chinese food. The kind that you can get at the ta takeout places that aren't, like, authentic Chinese, but they're the American versions of it. Our local Chinese food is actually ran by Foodnese people, and um, their food is really good. <laughs> I love their food. It's closed right now because they don't offer delivery or takeout, which is kind of funny. <laughs> I mean, like, normally you can go in and get food and leave with it, which is what me and Devin used to always do. But because of all the stuff going on, you know, they're just closed. And it's really sad because I love that restaurant. But um, I love comfort food, like the American comfort food, obviously, like uh, fried chicken and uh, macaroni and cheese, all kinds of stuff like that. I love Mexican food. Who doesn't love Mexican food? Uh, I like some Italian food, but I'm not really that big on pasta. And, uh, yeah. I guess I'm just, I like the food that I have grew up eating. <laughs> Favorite soda. Uh, if you had asked me this the end of last year, I would have said Dr. Pepper, uh, hands down. But ever since December 30th, I've started eating and, 
exercising and all that stuff. So I did lay off sodas completely for a while, but I have started drinking zero sodas, which is zero sugar and calorie sodas. They're, they're really big for the keto people because they don't eat sugar. Um, and um, I like them because they're zero cal calories and I've lost 30 pounds while drinking them. I don't drink them all the time. I drink mostly water, but I do have sodas often <laughs> and uh, I've still been able to lose weight. So uh, yeah. I'm sure there's stuff in there that's not that good, but I mean, there's stuff in everything that's not that good for us. And it's really hard to eat um, whole and organic all the time, especially uh, being in middle class Tennessee. <laughs> but yeah, so my favorite zero soda is I like Pepsi Zero and I love uh, Mountain Dew Zero, which is weird because I don't like Mountain Dew, but I like the zero version of it. And uh, I don't really like Coke Zero that much. And there is a Dr. Pepper Zero, but I think it's only available in uh, the UK. I've seen some weight loss vloggers that I watch, they drink it, and I want to try it so bad, but I can't find it anywhere around here. So, I want to try that really bad. <laughs> Favorite animal. This is another hard one because I'm a big animal person. I love pretty much every animal. There are some animals I don't like. It'd be easier for me to tell you what animals I don't like, and number one animal I don't like is owls, <laughs> and I have no idea why. I've always been really scared of owls. Uh, I don't know if I had some kind of traumatic experience that I've blocked out or what but I just don't like owls at all <laughs> like I love them because they're animals and they're living creatures but um I don't ever want to like be around one and they scare me when I see them in real life um I'm sure if I were in a situation where one was dying and I had to help it I could I could do like um oh what is it who is it that does it Pee Wee Herman, like on Pee Wee Herman, that movie, he's like terrified of snakes and there's a, um, a pet shop burning down. So he's running in and out, saving all the animals and he leaves the snakes for last because he's scared of them. But then at the end clip of it, he comes running out and there's like snakes everywhere. That would be me with owls. I would save everything else and then I would go back and save the owls, but I wouldn't enjoy any moment of it at all. Number six is your favorite holiday. Uh, I have two favorite holidays and that's Halloween and Christmas. And uh, I don't think I can pick the, the one I love the most. I love them both a lot because Halloween is so fun to um, decorate and dress up in costumes and get candy. And it's really fun now that I have a kid and I get to do all that with him. And uh, me and Devin just can't wait till we have a house in the future and we can. And Jesse's old enough to where he's like running around with his friends and stuff. And we can stay home and hand out candy and scare kids. Um, I look so forward to that. And. Um, it's like one of, it's just one of my favorite. I actually have more Halloween decorations right now than I do Christmas decorations. Unless you count individually like ornaments, but I don't. <laughs> but yeah, I have a ton of Halloween stuff and I love Halloween. It's just so fun. I love horror movies. Me and Devin both do. And um, it's just fun. It's just a really fun holiday. And Christmas, you know, everybody loves Christmas. Except for people who are like Jehovah Witnesses and other religions that don't celebrate Christmas. <laughs> Okay, I just had a huge argument with the camera to make it focus. <laughs> it keeps focusing on this stuff. I think I got too much stuff going on in the background. But anyways, I was talking about Christmas. And I love Christmas too. For pretty much the same reason as I love Halloween. It's just fun to decorate and to give gifts to people and to get gifts. And to bake and stuff. Okay, number seven is my favorite book. I am not a reader. I never have been a reader. I never enjoyed reading. Um, Jesse. <laughs> Uh, I never was the kind of person who got a lot of enjoyment out of reading. I've always been a slow reader, so it was never fun. I always, I always had to force it. But the times that I did read a lot, I my favorite book is is and always will be The Outsiders by S.E. Hinton. Uh, I just love that book so much. <laughs> I've been reading it ever since I was a kid, and uh, I love the movie also. So that's my favorite book. Number eight is my favorite pizza topping. Um... Uh, I'm pretty normal. I like, I love cheese pizza and I love pizza with cheese and pepperonis. And then when we go crazy and get extra stuff on there, I like uh, cheese, pepperoni, um, ham, and bacon on ours. And Devin puts um, green bell peppers and banana peppers on his when uh, we get one of those half and half pizzas. But yeah, I'm pretty basic. I'll eat, I'll eat any pizza because all I gotta do is pick stuff I don't like off and then Devin eats it. <laughs> Number nine uh, is what is my favorite pastime other than crocheting, I'm going to assume, because obviously it's crocheting. <laughs> but my second favorite pastime is playing video games. I love to play games on our Xbox and on my phone apps and also on our Nintendo Switch. I like playing farming games like Harvest Moon and uh, Stardew Valley 
and I like playing on my phone just little apps. I have um, Pokemon Go, Wii Farm, and then any little game that's like connecting three gems <laughs> or candies or whatever. And I like trivia games on my phone and I really like the ones that you can play with other people. And on the Xbox I love playing uh, The Elder Scrolls Skyrim and Oblivion. I play those all the time. Minecraft, just you know, basic gaming stuff. <laughs> I really love RPGs, and uh, on the computer, actually, I play um, Neverwinter Nights, which is another RPG game. Okay, number 10 is my favorite TV series, and like I said, this 100% certainty, Little House on the Prairie, <laughs> the original one with Michael Landon in it. I have seen that so many times. I've watched it beginning to end. I've just finished it, actually, the other day again, so I'll be starting it back over again, but I'm, I'm binging... Um, I would have it right now. They put it on Netflix, so I'm watching that. But uh, Little House on Prairie, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. We own it. Well, technically, my mom owns it on Amazon Prime. She bought it on there, and I watch it all the time. And uh, I used to own it a long time ago, but when our house burnt, when I was still living at home with my mom, uh, it was in there. But I want to eventually get it again on like Blu-ray, so that I can watch it all the time. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I know every episode by just the beginning. Okay, Jesse keeps interrupting me. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what I was talking about. Little House on Prairie. I know every episode word for word. I can recite the episodes. <laughs> I know exactly what they're going to be about. I can tell you what they're about. I can, you know, when the first, the the beginning song, you know, with them running down the hill starts and then it shows the beginning clip. Even before it says the title of the episode, I can tell you what episode it is just by the beginning clip. And I love that show so much. I just, I love it so much. There's nothing I don't like about it. There are a couple episodes I do skip every time just because it's, they're too sad for me to watch and that is child of pain which is the one where the little boy is getting abused by his dad i just can't stand to watch that because the, the dad is a drunk and i've had personal um issues with a drunk dad and uh, i just can't watch it very good and then i don't like watching sylvia part one and two because it's about rape and it's just you know i just don't want to watch it most of the time but the rest of the episodes i will watch over and over and over and over and i love them very much <laughs> Number 11 is my favorite fruit. Again, I have a ton of these. I like pretty much any fruit. Uh, I love all the berries. I love watermelon so much. I can't wait to watermelon season. I love apples and oranges and grapefruit and mandarins and bananas and pomegranates and just, you know, everything. I love all kinds of fruit. I will eat any fruit pretty much. But right now my favorite is apples and oranges. We've been, I've been eating the heck out of them um, lately, especially the little like halo um, Mandarin oranges are so good right now. I don't know if they're in season, but they're like super sweet right now. It's really good. Number 12 is favorite vegetable. Now here's where I slack. I'm not that good at eating vegetables. I try, but I'm not that good at it. But my favorite vegetable is cucumber. I can eat my body weight in cucumbers. That's why I try to grow them every year. I've got a bunch of cucumber plants actually right now, right off here to grow. I'm going to try to grow two different kinds this year. I'm going to grow a or I was trying to find an English cucumber seeds, but I couldn't find any locally, and I always try to buy local before I order online. So it's just like a regular cucumber um, plant. Last year I grew pickling cucumbers, which are really good. And I made some pickles too. And then also this year I'm going to grow some lemon cucumbers, which are round yellow cucumbers. They look like lemons, but they taste like cucumbers. So um, I'm excited about that. One of these days I want to grow... Uh, Cucumelons, they're called. They look like little tiny watermelons, but when you cut them open, they're cucumbers and they taste like cucumbers. I want to grow some of those just because they're cute and they're little, <laughs> little tiny watermelons. But um, I'm not trying to grow some of those soon. Who knows? Uh, number 13 is my favorite subject in school. I only went to public school for a little while and then I homeschooled. So um, I had a lot of different subjects. And the homeschool that I was through was a religious based one. So there were some different subjects <laughs> but um my favorite subjects even currently are uh history anything to do with history and um social studies i love social studies because it's just really cool to learn about everything <laughs> everything that's different than just what we're used to hated math and i hate english like today i i never was good at english i i can't remember the differences of everything and i can't build proper sentences and paragraphs and I could never write essays worth a hoot like I could pass but that was just it <laughs> so uh, I was never into any of those things number 14 my favorite actor actor as in a boy would probably be Johnny Depp <laughs> and actress as a girl 
would be Julie Andrews maybe or Joan Cusack or the girl that plays his chummy on Call the Midwife. I don't know what her real name is. <laughs> but uh, my favorite actor will always be Johnny Depp. I love Johnny Depp. And also Mark Wahlberg. He's beautiful. <laughs> but, um, all right, number 15, my favorite singer. I know this one easily too. Michael Jackson, period, in a story. <laughs> I, I'm always, always have been, always will be a huge Michael Jackson fan. And, uh, yeah, I wish so bad he was still off. The world would be such a better place if he was and i just know all this virus stuff that's going on he would have probably helped with it a lot i bet the relief and all that but yeah michael jackson is my favorite singer ever period favorite superhero i don't have favorite superhero i don't watch superhero shows the closest thing to superhero shows i ever watch is uh all the x-men movies because i'll do love x-men and um i love the new joker movie but I don't think Joker would be a superhero hero. He'd be like a villain. But um yeah, I don't I never got into like Marvel, like the uh the Avengers universe or Batman or anything like that. I do love the Joker movie. I do love the the Batman movies, the original ones, like the Tim Burton one and all that. But um I've never seen the new ones and I probably will never see the super super new ones. But uh and I like the original Spider Man, the Tobey Maguire one. So I guess that Number 17, my favorite comedian. I don't really lot, watch a lot of um, comedians, like stand-up comedy, but I love watching old recordings of Rob, Robin Williams, Jim Carrey, and Steve Martin. And I don't really know any of the new ones, but um, I like Will Ferrell movies and Jim Carrey. We're, we're big Jim Carrey fans here. We have all his movies. <laughs> and uh, yeah, but we don't watch like stand-up comedy, hardly ever. Uh, number 18 is my favorite season. This one's hard because I love all the seasons and for different reasons. Um, I think if I had to pick one, it would be spring as my top because that's when I get to start my plants and it's a little fun to see them growing and to, um, you know, see them get ready to start producing food. <laughs> but uh, I love summer because it's fun to get out and have cookouts and go swimming and stuff. I love fall because Halloween <laughs> And it feels good outside to go outside and just play. And then winter is because Christmas and snow. I just love them all. All right. What, 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 number 19, my favorite movie. Oh, boy. That's hard. <laughs> I have a lot of favorite movies. I love um, The Outsiders, the movie. I love Pride and Prejudice and Sense and Sensibility and Little Women. And I love any horror movie. And I love, what other movie? Hook. The one with Robin Williams in it. That's probably one of my favorite movies. That's probably my favorite movie. I could watch that over and over and over and over and never get tired of it. I love that movie. Um, I can't think of any more. I don't watch a whole lot of movies. I mostly watch, now I mostly watch YouTube videos. And um, I stream stuff. Like, I guess the Little House on the Prairie movies. There's three of those. <laughs> so those are definitely favorites. Um, but yeah. Number 20, my favorite smell, easy, dirt. <laughs> Devin thinks this is so weird, but I love the way dirt smells. Um, not just any dirt. I like fresh dirt, like when someone's tilling a garden or a field or soil, like when we plant our plants. That smells so good. Mm. <laughs> I, 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 I guess that's because I'm like an earthy type person and I love plants and growing things and all that. And also it could be because I'm deficient and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> Number 21 is weird. It's one of my favorite kids. Like... Because if it means my kids, I only have one, so Jesse. <laughs> but if it means kids, like, out in the world, uh, my favorite kids at the moment are the kids from Stranger Things. Because <laughs> I love that show, and just, they're all such good actors and stuff. But obviously, my favorite kid is my son, though. Uh, number 22 is my favorite decade. This is hard, but if I had to choose where, like, if I could go right now, the way me and Devin are right now, our ages, I would go back to the early 70s. Um... Because it seems like everything was a lot better back then. E economy and um, everything was just better. And we could have a less technological life and a more hands-on type life. And I know I'd be a hippie. <laughs> so uh, it'd be a lot of fun. Alright, and the last question, number 23, <laughs> is what is my favorite YouTube channel? Obviously, I can't pick a favorite. <laughs> that would be one, rude, and two, really hard. Uh, I love all the crochet channels. And, um, I guess I can narrow down by saying types. I love the crochet channels. 
I love sewing channels. I like watching family vloggers that are similar to Monty Damon's life, as in, you know, like one kid and um, stay-at-home moms who have husbands who work or stuff like that. I like watching channels about things that we hope for, like homesteading and owning land and stuff like that and raising animals. I like watching that because it gives me one ideas <laughs> and knowledge and also it gives me hope that one day we can have a lifestyle like that. I like watching stuff about budgeting and finances because that's another big thing that me and Devin are learning about is, uh, you know, we want to not have any debt in the future and we want to invest in stuff and, you know, we're just gathering up knowledge. <laughs> I like watching cooking channels. I like watching all kinds of stuff. It's kind of like flipping through cable TV. You just, you know, you watch all kinds of stuff. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I keep looking over because there's a cardinal outside and I love cardinals. There's a big old male cardinal sitting outside feeding at my bird feeder. But yeah, so that's all of them. I will put them in the description if you would like to answer them. You can either make yourself a video and let me know about it or you can answer in the comments below. Or you can even take it over to my Facebook group and paste it there and answer it there if you want. And we can all read your replies. And it'd be a lot of fun, I think. And if you have any questions or comments, I'm still watching that word. Uh, leave them in the com they dis you know, they have the comments. I almost, I said, I was, hmm, what am I doing? I started to say it right, and then I got distracted, and then I messed up again. But that's okay. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here and edit this because it's gonna the oh, I can't speak. It's going to need a lot of editing because Jesse keeps interrupting me. <laughs> but I'll see you guys in another video some other time. Bye, guys.